I think we have learned that good progress has been made since the AFTI initiative was launched by our previous Prime Minister in 2010, but there's a long way to go. Uh, there's a long way to go in terms of trade facilitation, the simplification of cross-border arrangements, reduction of tariffs and non-tariff barriers, investment in the infrastructure needed for trade. There's a long way to go, but the prize is enormous in terms of the development of many, many uh, parts of Africa, uh, joining up, connecting so that intra-African trade can grow at the same pace that world trade, indeed much faster than world trade, because I believe there's a lot of catch-up uh, possibility. Well, I, I do think that the AFTI initiative is extremely important for African development. Uh, I, there is no known model in anywhere in the world of a country successfully and sustainably developing without an increasingly free approach to trade. It, f it frees up energy, it allows investment to be allocated properly, it brings benefits to uh, a population steadily and surely over time. This is incredibly important. So using aid in support of trade facilitation, which is the, at the heart of that British government initiative, is I believe a recipe that uh, we could all um, learn from and take the benefit from.